Can I bring a little hip hop back? Yeah. Can I bring a little hip hop back? Uh huh. I know you like it, you gon' play that back. Yeah. I know you like it, you gon' play that back. Uh. Can I bring a little hip hop back? Yeah. Can I bring a little hip hop back? Uh. I know you like it, you gon' play that back. I know you like it, you gon' play that back. Yeah. My name is Lorenzo Hughes, and uh, I'm one of the characters in the movie Golden Gloves. Golden Gloves. So, um, Lorenzo, what made you start acting? Um, you know, I moved uh, here to Kansas City in 1992. Uh, you know, I was doing a, you know a bunch of modeling and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, that was when Jones Store, Saks Fifth Avenue, and everything was going on down here. Mark Shell was doing some stuff. Um, Tommy Hilfiger was doing some stuff here. I came down, you know, from Omaha because I was working a lot down here. So I was commuting back and forth. So I decided to move. Um, and then later on, when I say later on, somewhere around five years, I made the conversion into acting. Right. Okay. Um, how many uh, movies have you worked on? Um, I worked on the, the set of several different, uh, you know, productions. Uh, I started out here doing like local and regional television commercials. Uh, man, I mean, that was when the pager company and everything was, mm -hmm. was doing their thing here. Uh, so I was doing a lot of that, a lot of training videos. And when I say training videos, you know, those, those videos you watch. Five minute um, workouts. Not, well, not that, but you know, when you go apply for a job and they say, well, we need you to watch this. this oh, he was in a training video. video. Oh, training, yeah. training video. Yeah. This yeah. is how yeah. you lift a box. You right, know? Yeah, right. okay. All you know, right. I was doing a bunch right. of, you know. Uh, oh, so uh, that ain't stuff. nobody who works for the actual that job that's a paid actor? That's a paid actor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Huh. I, I figured that. You know, so uh, it, I was doing that, man, a lot of. Uh, <laughs> Uh, dental commercials, you know, I played doctors, right. de you know, dental hygienists, you, a cop you, know, too, uh, you? you know, did, did some cop stuff, mm -hmm. you know, uh, security officers and things like that. So a lot of local commercials and I started doing some regional stuff. That was when I started, you know, working the uh, Kansas City and St. Louis market. Then I started doing Kansas City, St. Louis and sh the Chicago market. So I you know, moved to Chicago for about a year, start working on a television show called Early Edition. You know, I uh, started working with the Chicago stunt team, working on the movie The Watcher. You know, a couple, couple, couple other films and everything, and uh, that was how I was. How, how, I was uh, how, how was the stunt like for you? Uh, the, the stunt training was uh, it was great. It was great. Uh, the one thing I just couldn't grasp uh, was a um, uh, training called air awareness, where they teach you how to, you know, to fall off a building. So, you know, we started out, you know, falling off the top of like a bleachers into a porta pit. Uh -huh. So that, I would say that was probably the most, the most challenging part. You know of that training, but uh, but overall, so, you, you know, you uh, this thing? Uh, how high you think you, know, you could have did in that fall? I think I could do the bleachers. I could probably but. do a little one, probably high, but if it's probably high, high, <laughs> I right, probably right. had the habit. I probably would fall, but I would like how you said. Uh -huh. I, I would had the habit of going like that. Probably would be looking back and right. saying, "Well, <laughs> <right. laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, that's the, a that's a hell of a trust the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the tactical driving was probably the most exciting part. The tactical driving and um, um, uh, they taught you how to whip a car like uh, Fast and Furious style. Right, right, okay. right. So Damn. you know that was the most exciting. And then you okay. know they had uh, uh, so those are on doubles. Y'all actually, you, you, 
Well, I guess y'all are the double. Stunt man. And then, yeah. So, so yeah, the stunt, you, the stunt team really be, yeah, really yeah, be out there with them. Just do the stunt work, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, then we did uh, uh, what's called tactical entry. Uh, so you had, you know, somebody from the, uh, the tactical team from the some Chicago military Police military Department, okay. you know, yeah, come yeah, down, yeah. teach us how to do some tactical entry stuff to keep a lot of the films looking, you know, at least somewhat realistic. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. That's cool. Boy, y'all basically too. getting hands-on school training right there. Right, yeah, train, right, train, right, right, right. Oh. <laughs> right. Train, I like that. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, after I, after I got my feet wet a little bit in Chicago, came back here for the birth of my daughter, then started, you know, venturing out to New York a little bit, you know, doing some stuff out in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, at the same time, you know, I'd come here, you know, I'd book some, uh, booked a lot of stage work, 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 worked with the Missouri Repertory Theater, okay. uh, working doing some theater work, a lot of community theater, but, you know, just to keep, just to keep Excuse that training, sharp. you know, yeah. try to stay sharp, you know, so yeah, yeah. Yep, well, speaking of sharpness, um, what are you going to bring to this movie of ours? Um, you know, I think with the movie Golden Gloves, man, I want, you know, and, and being, you know, having a background in boxing, you know, I, you know, I boxed as an amateur, you know, did some pro stuff, you know, I, I trained, you know, some young boxers, but uh, with the movie Golden Gloves, I want to bring some realism, mm -hmm. you know, to, to, to the set. Uh, from what I understand, the guy that I'm going to be working with, you know, he has a background in boxing. So I think I'm hoping that, you know, with him and I together, yeah. we can bring some uh, some some authenticity. Yeah, y'all definitely to are the, to the to the movie. I, you know, I was going I, I was going to ask you about that. Like, Honestly, you know, being that he has <clears throat> an actual fighting background, right? How excited are you to actually get to work with him? And what are you looking for to possibly? Learn I, from him. I, I, I'm going to tell you this. You know, uh, the beautiful thing about being a fighter is there's this camaraderie. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know, it, a lot of times when you, when you look at fighters on television, you think, oh, man, they hate each other. Mm -hmm. right. It's not so much that we hate each other, but there's this respect because, you know, to step into the ring, you know, with another guy. You know, and, and it's just you and him with one alternative motive. Yeah, both you know, the same um, you know that there there is some respect just in in being able to do that. And I think with uh, him and I, both of us having the background, there's an excitement, mm -hmm. you know, that you have with actually trying to challenge, you know, each other or even challenge yourself to see if you can outsmart, you know, you know, uh, outmaneuver that other person. Even though this, you know, a lot of the. Uh, uh, the, the fight scenes are choreographed. Right. Mm -hmm. There's still some realism in there. You can't choreograph the whole scene, mm -hmm. right. you know. But some, you know, uh, uh, some 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 scenes have to be choreographed. But for the most part, you know, you want to keep it as real as That's possible, possible right. you know. So, yeah. but for the most part, hopefully we can, you know, still keep it safe, but at mm -hmm. the same time have some 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 nice competitive fun, right. you know. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, yeah. you know, Rico here. My man, Lorenzo, a.k.a. Marcus himself, Marcus himself. leading actor in motherfucking uh, Golden Gloves. I'm great. I'm glad to have you here working with us, man. I look forward to seeing some of your work. We already done got a little taste a little of taste, what right? you can do. <laughs> yeah. Seeing you up in there, hitting them bags, you yeah. know what I'm saying, getting ready. They called you up on the ring. You was like, what's up? What's <laughs> up? You know what I'm saying? You didn't waste no time. Like, what's up? I'm already ready to go, coach. I've been ready. Yep. You, I, was, I was out here. You up in the ring work, working with him. I'm out here. I'm the guy. You ready? Yeah, yeah, you want yeah. me? All right. All right. So, yeah. you know, y'all make sure y'all check out the movie when it comes out. We got my man Marcus right here, Lorenzo. My name's Rico. I'm Steve. This has been Blue Line Studios with our show Speak On It. Y'all know all the social media platforms to follow us at by now. Mm -hmm. Y'all check us out. Make sure y'all hit that bell. Please subscribe. Y'all leave your comments at the bottom of the video. And anything else y'all want to know, man, just drop it in the chat. And then we'll get to y'all as soon as possible. Hey, we gonna keep hustling. Hey, hey, one day we gonna ball. Hey, we gonna keep hustling. People who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. You are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure. But in the process of doing that, what you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What's good, YouTubers? 
You can check out my page by typing in Blue Line Studios, subscribing over here, hitting my link, check out Speak On It with interviews, local business owners, scroll over, check out music videos by Doughboy under the influence. All right, peace.